Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make two Easter hair clips for your little girl. Both are very easy. The first one's going to be the Easter Bunny hair clip, and the second one's going to be the carrot. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first things first, we're going to take our piece of white one and a half inch ribbon, and we're going to heat seal both ends. Very important that you heat seal all your ribbon ends. This piece is going to be the bunny's head. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it up into like a circle or a cylinder. See? And then we're going to put our hot glue right here at the edge to seal it. Just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to put this to the side. And we're going to work on our ears next. You're going to take your, your piece of 7 inch white and your 7 inch pink. Put the pink on top of the white like this. And if you remember in the Boutique Classic uh, tutorial how I showed you how to make a loop, we're going to do the same except we're going to flip it. So just go over like you're making a loop, but you're going to flip it. See what I'm doing? make like a loop and then just flip it then it makes like a, a little ear and then you can shape it up but that's going to be our first ear you just put your glue right here at the end to secure all the ribbons together and you just need to do that to your other two pieces of ribbon. Okay, now that we've got both of our ears finished, we're going to glue everything onto the clip. Now it's very important that before you glue everything on, you make sure that both of your ears are pretty much uniform in size. You don't want one ear bigger than the other. So here we go. And we're going to glue the ears on the clip first, and then the head is going to go over the ears so we won't be seeing the bottom part of the ear. And I'm going to be working with the uh, little pinch clip today. So you want to just put a little couple of dabs of glue on here. And put your ears on. Like so. I'm going to kind of angle mine. Now our ears are on. I'm going to just take the head and we're going to glue it on top of our ears. And I'm going to be gluing the seam side down, the part that we glued earlier, just so you won't see it. It's just going to go like this. And now we've got our bunny template and we're just going to be adding our eyes and our nose and our whiskers. See? Very simple. Okay, now we're going to be adding the nose. And I'm going to be using three pom-poms. Got two white and a pink. And they're just going to go right here at the bottom. I'm going to be putting the white on first. So you just want one two. There's one. You just want to mash down to make sure they stay. And then here's the other. You can press them together. Okay. There's that. Now we're going to be placing the pink just right in the center. A little dab of glue. Need to press that down so it'll stay. And don't worry about your glue strings because remember to get those, just take your lighter and run it across there. Okay, I think he's ready for his eyes. Now I'm going to be using a couple of googly eyes. You can get these in the craft section of Walmart. You don't have to use the googly eyes, you can draw your eyes on or whatever, but I just find that these work. They're easier. And you just want to glue them right above your, your nose here. 
one, two. And you can place them however you want. You can have them crossed. You can have them together, spaced out. It's up to you. Okay, it's starting to look like a little bunny. Now we're going to add the whiskers. Now to do the whiskers, you're going to need to take your black piece of ribbon and all you do is clip. Just clip some whiskers. And we're going to be needing four, two on each side. Three and four. Now what I did is because I clipped both sides of this, both sides are going to fray. So I just take my lighter and run it on the top and the bottom. And it also will make the ribbon shrink down a little bit and look like whiskers. So just heat seal. Be careful not to burn your fingers. Just heat seal both sides. Okay, now that we've got all of our whiskers heat sealed on both sides, we are just going to glue them right here. I'm going to put them kind of close up under the white pom-poms just so you don't see the glue. So we're going to put two on each side. Just a little bit of glue for these. Yeah, just tuck them under just like so. Make sure you press down so they stay. And then we're going to get the other side. Just a little bit of glue. There we go. Okay. There's our Easter Bunny. Now this last part is optional, but even little Easter Bunny girls like to wear hair bows. So I had some um, leftover ribbon. It had carrots on it, so I decided that um, I'm going to make a hair bow for my Easter Bunny. And you can use the tutorial, the classic boutique tutorial, to make um, just a small hair bow. I'm, I'm using 3 8 inch ribbon. And we're just going to glue the hair bow right here. Just put a dab on each ear. And stick your hair bow right there in the center. Now don't worry about your glue strings because you can get those off with a swipe of this. Alright, there is our little Easter girl hair clippy. Now we're going to go ahead and make the carrot. Okay, for the carrot you're going to need 3 8 of an inch orange ribbon and 3 8 of an inch green ribbon. Okay, you're going to need to take your green ribbon in one hand and come down just a little bit because this top part is going to be part of our stem. And what we're going to do with our orange ribbon in our other hand, we're going to just be wrapping it around this green piece and glue it as you go. Because when you wrap it, it's going, do you see how I did this one right here? Underneath this orange is green. I just wrapped it around and then glued as I went. Let's get started on this one. Put a little bit of glue here so it'll hold my orange. And don't worry about that because you can clip it so it's not showing. And of course, you're going to need to heat seal it if you do clip it. So, what you're going to need to do is just wrap it around. And just keep going until you're at the end. Glue it as you go. Just a little bit. And you see how I'm wrapping that? So 
So just keep going until you've got a good sized carrot. About that size. That's what it looks like. Up under here is actually the green. See, I just wrapped it. That's just what you do. You keep doing that until you have a carrot. Okay, now when you get to where you think you're going to end your carrot, wrap it just a little bit tighter so it'll look like the bottom point of a carrot. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're just going to clip our ribbons here at the end. When we're done. And heat seal, of course. Alright, now for the stem. We've already got our first half, or first part, excuse me. Just come and clip it. And then just take a piece of your green ribbon, just a small piece, and just kind of angle it. See? Make a V like that. And then put a little bit of glue in the middle so it'll stick. And this is going to be the rest of our stem. And of course, you'll want to angle your, your stems. And heat seal. And then we're just going to glue them together like that. And that's going to be our carrot. So just put a little bit of glue here. Glue it on. And now your carrot is ready to be attached to the clip. Isn't that cute? And it will look like that. 